Um, if they make it to the Super Bowl, they have to win two games to get to the Super Bowl, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. So if they, oh, so they'd have to be two teams. So they'd have to be the Rams. What would be the first team? Would it be like an easier team potentially? No. It well, wouldn't be like the Bucks, or something, right? So is there the an opportunity to put like the Bucks, or they skip that because of the bye week? The 49ers would play the lowest seeded team. Um, so technically, let's see. I think so. The can I ask you just a, a chaos question? What happens if the 49ers lose the first round? Are people just I burning mean, buildings? Down? It, just bad. it would be bad. <laughs> It would be bad. I guess that goes to the conversation of like, is it a disappoint? Would it be a disappointment if the 49ers don't get to the Super Bowl, don't win a Super Bowl? Like we we ask that every time, right? I think last year yeah. I said no, like it wouldn't be a disappointment. And the reason I said that was because like after Jimmy Garoppolo went out with his injury and we had Brock, I think early on we weren't so sure that the 49ers would be able to like you know, get to the playoffs and, and be it as like a miracle. Good. Like it was like storybook yeah. that they had even gotten to where they had been. Exactly. So in my head, I was like, you know, I don't think I'd call it a disappointment just because, you know, you're playing with a rookie quarterback, you know, all those things. Um, but now seeing what Brock has been able to do in his second year, seeing what this team has done and all the pieces they have, Yes, it would absolutely be a disappointment if this team does not win the Super Bowl. We're too, this is such a knock on wood show. Ty was said, stop speaking bad juju. We're just, I'm just considering different outcomes. The show originally was going to be like, oh, the 49ers going to get the number one seed, but then they got that. So now I'm, I'm thinking about this. I, I think it would be a huge disappointment. We're going to, I'm going to veer off a little bit, but I am going to ask you kind of about, the Super Bowl window, Trent Williams. I mean, right now, Eric Armstead for the second season in a row is set to miss a minimum of six games. Do you think even if um, even if Brock Purdy is the franchise quarterback, or at least for his rookie deal, he continues to to be this well this good, is this the best opportunity for the 49ers to win a Super Bowl if they don't make it this year? Do you have confidence that they could run it back next year? Because this is an aging, aging team. George Kittle, um, that knee that he got freaking rammed into in, against the Commanders. Um, obviously, they do have some some younger guys. I assume that they're going to try to keep uh, Brandon Ayuk around. He's been amazing. But yeah, when when I look on their defensive, the defensive side of the ball, at least the defensive line, uh, that O line, I do, I do. F- feel like and and with how the rest of the NFL is playing right now I feel like getting it done this this year seems more important than ever yeah I mean and that's why I say like it it would be a huge disappointment because with this group of players um you know I think this is the the best chance you don't know how much longer Trent plans to play you know uh and to for the Fordham Niners to continue to go this far like into their season, into the playoffs and not be able to win a Super Bowl. Like that's, that takes a toll on your body. Right. And you know, the 49ers have had Trent for years. They played like almost a whole extra season. If you count like all the, the playoff games that they've played over the last um, couple of years, four years. Yeah. I mean, it builds up. Right. So yeah. I mean, you just, you don't know who's going to be, here next year you know a lot of things can change between now and then so I think obviously it's too early to say like is this a team that can go back you know we always have confidence in this team and we're gonna continue to have confidence in Brock Purdy Brock Purdy being as good as he has been I think has given us hope that yeah I think this window is gonna be able to stay open a little bit longer but you know that's also dependent on a number of other things as well so a little too early to say um, but yeah, I think right now is what we need to focus on. And that is that right now is their best opportunity. Who would the Bucks have to be? Um, who, who are they set to play right now? Do you know? This would be an interesting situation so playing the, the Bucks, Bucks and the Lions. The Bucks the Lions are would have to be the Rams. In the hunt. Yeah. 
They're yeah, they're in the hunt is. right now. Oh, there you go. Well, that would be interesting. But back to the original question before I kind of veered off with the Super Bowl window. Which team are you would you be most afraid of playing in the Super Bowl? Would it be the Ravens or Steph? This is me interviewing you. Would it be Joe Flacco coming back to ruin the his dreams again? Good man. Um, I don't even know if that's a possibility. I think it is right now. But yeah, um, then also for me, I feel like the Chiefs, no matter how bad they they're doing, I feel like much like how as a 49er fan, I'm not scared of the Dallas Cowboys. I feel like that's how the Chiefs feel about the 49ers. Like they're like, we just beat you every time. And and they do have a good defense. They have a good coach. They have a good quarterback. So no matter what chaos is going on, to me, you always have to at least respect that team. But yeah, so if you were to pick out of all the AFC teams, which team would you least like to play in the Super Bowl? Um, yeah, like obviously <laughs> assuming the 49ers get there, uh okay, I would say. I mean, biasly speaking, I, I have to go with the 49ers being the favorite in any matchup, right? I I would like to see a matchup with the Ravens because obviously, like, I think it would go differently than that game went a couple weeks ago just because some of those interceptions – I don't like the word fluky, but, like, some of those interceptions nine times out of ten, like, would fall differently. Uh, I did say after that game that I felt like if the 49ers played that game, they would probably win like five or six times out of 10 because it just like they were in that game with like in the second half with like three interceptions. They were in that game by like four points, Mm -hmm. even after five interceptions. It looked like Sam Darnold might make a comeback if he could freaking make a pass. I know that some people say that interception wasn't super on him, but it does feel like we haven't really seen Brock Purdy have not even feel like Brock Purdy has never thrown that many interceptions. So it does feel like if you were to redo that game again, even with the same game plan, which people have argued that they could have had an even better game plan, but even with that game plan, they weren't far from winning for a majority of the game. So I agree that that could be, that would feel like a really satisfying win. And and maybe it doesn't matter which team any Super Bowl win is a fuck or is a, Sorry, <laughs> Super Bowl win. But yeah, if, if the 49ers win a Super Bowl and in the process they kind of like slay that dragon, like like if it's not like a fluke, like some other team beats the Ravens and then the 49ers beats that, the 49ers beat the Ravens. The narrative is not only that the 49ers won the Super Bowl, but like they are the best team in the NFL. They just beat like because that was kind of the question going in, right? It's the best team in the NFC, best team in the AFC. The 49ers beat the Ravens in the process of winning a Super Bowl. They're like hands down. We like all that talk where people kind of have been like, oh, they always handle themselves like they're the best team, but like they haven't proven it. They at least looking at this year can be like, we proved that we were the best team in the NFL this year. So that win would feel really gratifying. Oh, yeah. Sure. I mean, yeah, but absolutely. Very for a number scary. of reasons. Lamar. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there, there's a few, right, that I think would be like cautious um, matchup, but that's the point of it, right? This, there, I don't think there's any like Super Bowl that you walk into and you're like, yeah, like we're yeah. we're going, this is gonna be easy, you know? That's the point. That's kind of the point. So, um, yeah, I mean, I've seen people mentioning the Bills as well. That's a great one. Like, yeah, they they're kind of a team that's I would getting love that hot later in, like, the, yeah. in the season. That would be interesting. The Browns, I mean, you can't count them out. There's a reason they say defense wins championships. And I think it – so I'm, I'm kind of predicting a Browns-Ravens NFC championship, and I think that would be awesome because then they could knock one or the other out. Um, but, yeah, I think those are the three would teams. Would you be scared to go against the real Flacco again? Would that be like a little bit of a – yeah, that would be a little more Girls PTSD for us. Because uh, he's, I, I don't think be, How he good about him credit stuff for he feel if he beats the 49ers. Yeah. Like, Man, don't, 10 don't years put that apart, into the universe. Like, don't put that into the okay. universe. Sorry, sorry. I know Ty, I think Ty left. He was like, this whole stream is bad to do. Goodbye. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, 
this team says Casey will choke. I mean, when we're talking about, I was kind of setting up that it would feel, that's the one good thing is if the 49ers go to the Super Bowl, I do feel like whoever they play, maybe besides the Bills, although in my opinion, that would just be a fun game. But if they play the Chiefs, they're like slaying dragons of the past. Like, okay, you got one on us. Well, we have one on you. If they play Joe Flacco, they're like, screw you, Joe Flacco. You're not winning again. Like we're rewriting it. It's going to feel like uh, yeah. in Seattle this year, again, when we won in the, um, or not when we, when the 49ers beat the Seahawks on Thanksgiving, like how gratifying that felt. So that's how that would feel if, if the 49ers win against Joe Flacco. If they beat the Ravens, then, you know, hey, in 2023, the 49ers were the best team. So it does feel like out of all three of those teams, not only are the 49ers winning a Super Bowl in that made-up scenario, this uh, thought experiment that we're talking about, but also they are um, kind of killing demons of their past, which is kind mm -hmm. of cool. And then for the, yeah. for the Bills... Uh, the Bills one is kind of cool because it's two teams that maybe in both of their respective conferences have always kind of almost been there and tried to be there and and at times in the season been the best team in their conference, but never like made that hump. So even that would be a really amazing storyline. Uh, someone said, what about the Dolphins? Then there's the storyline of Mike McDaniel versus Kyle Shanahan. Yeah. I, the, I mean, the, all these storylines. It's, yeah, it's the NFL stuff. could make a storyline out of any of the, any of these matchups, which yeah. with the 49ers, which is great. They'll like that. No, are are you? Would you be scared about the Dolphins at all? Um, so uh, Bradley Chubb didn't he? Isn't he out for the season now for them? Well. So that's pretty yeah. big, obviously for them. Um, I don't think I'd be scared of them, really. No, I I think 49ers could beat them. I, I completely agree. I really liked going over. I feel like the one bad thing about this uh, week 18 game not super mattering is the storyline does change a little bit. So it is interesting to kind of hypothesize about the, the Super Bowl because it feels like the next great storyline is really going to be the NFC versus AFC matchup. But I'm sure whoever we play in the in the first playoff game will also be really exciting. I'm even excited for the the bye week. I kind of like weeks where you can take note of other teams and how they're playing and kind of try to size your team up to them. Um, 